killing me. What's up, divas and divos? So your girl is back with another video. We about to do this really inexpensive, cheap, synthetic lace front. I'm really not sure why I'm yelling because the mic is like right here, so I'm sorry. So anyway, you guys, today's video is going to be something a lot more affordable. For those of you guys who love the affordable synthetic wigs, then make sure to stick around and check this out. I, for one, love any type of wigs. You know, I'm saying like, well, I'd be lying if I said any type of wigs. It doesn't matter if it's synthetic or human, I'm still going to wear it. You know, these synthetic wigs be coming out with like some really human hair like wigs lately. So I'm just saying, I've been doing wigs for probably like 11, 12 years now, and they have definitely evolved from the first time that I've been wearing So one. with that being said, I hope you guys are all having like an amazing day. Me for one, I am. I am, definitely am. It's kind of gloomy outside. But one, I'm trying to figure out why my found my why is my makeup looking like a little bit darker today? Then I realized it's the pressed powder. But I'm gonna say this. I didn't have any issues with my makeup today, you guys. Maybe a little bit of issues with this eyelash here, which is like really driving me crazy. Yeah, the lash is really driving me crazy. Today is gloomy outside, it's raining. I figured I would do some videos. Let's just get into this video because I know I could talk like, I can just talk, but this eyelash is definitely driving me insane. Oh my God. Guys, give me one second. Okay, you guys, so back from the lash lab, all right? Maybe my makeup did not give me problems today, but the lashes did, okay? There are good days and then there are bad, and I guess today was not that great, especially for my left eye. Don't really do a lot of synthetic wigs anymore, so I'm really trying to get back into them. Still could look cute on a budget. You can pick this lace front up at samsbeauty.com. This is the Outrade lace front, and her name is Shatea. This is their Swiss Lace L Parting, and the color that I have is the DRFF1B slash BU. It's like a dark color with burgundy highlights in it. It's supposed to look like it's a natural lace front. So she looks really cute in this unit. I'm hoping that I look just as cute, girl. You can check it out on samsbeauty.com. They have loads of different units. And also make sure to follow them on their social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'll definitely post all the information below. All right, you guys. So here goes Shatea. And this is the color burgundy. Most of the highlight color is in the front. This is the lace, and you just have a minimal amount of parting area, which is directly in the middle. But you guys know you can always move this wig to the left or to the right, depending on how you can finagle around it. It does have the combs by the temple, and in the back, there is the adjustable strap and the comb at the nape. And the inside of the cap is just a regular netting. I'm going to give it a try and see how she do. All right, guys, so let's put this lace wig on by Outre, who's coming through with some really nice wigs today. Got your girls out here on a budget, looking cute still. And what's so cool about synthetic hair, guys, is you really don't have to curl it. That's always a cool thing, but you can if you want to. So I'm gonna take these small pair of scissors and I'm gonna just cut the lace. The lace is really not much to cut. This is gonna be a super duper easy one. As you guys can tell by the frontal, the hairline, it's a little blunt, a little thick. Uh, you can make some baby hairs if you want to, but for me, I'm just going to probably more than less keep it natural because the hairline is a little bit thick. So I'm just gonna keep it natural, exit out the baby hairs, kind of like, you know, make it blend as best as possible. But Outre is a really great brand. They've been around forever and you can check them out on samsbeauty.com. Sam's Beauty has a bunch of new units available on their website. And what's so cool about it is you don't have to leave your home to purchase anything. You can, you can order online and they will deliver to you. And you can also still look cute inside of your own house, especially on a budget. Or you can try out some new wigs and tighten up your wig skills. Either way, we're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy this wig video. I love synthetic wigs. That's what I started out with. And if you are interested in trying out a wig for the first time, I would highly suggest trying a synthetic one so that way you can just get the hang of it and see if you like it. 
So, I mean, yeah, I am pulling out a little bit of baby hairs, but I, listen, okay, hey, I changed my mind at the last minute. So yeah, here I did try to kind of like brush some in, but then I started looking at the hairline after I did style some and I realized, yeah, this is not going to work out for me. So I'm just going to make it look a little bit more natural. So the only baby hairs I kept were not even baby hairs. They were the sideburn hairs. So I did try out a new trick with the moving hairspray can. Listen, I'm trying to improve my editing skills, okay? While we are in quarantine, what better thing to do is improve the things that we already do or move on to something different. So I'm just going to try to improve mine. And that's what I did. I didn't really get that far yet. But I'm just going to blow dry down this hairspray because it's a synthetic wig and it takes a little bit more work for the hairspray to hold versus a human hair one. And this is where I said, well, you know what, April, let's try out some baby hairs. You know what, look, I took my time, I brushed them in, and then I realized, you know, not really a big fan of the middle parts, as you guys already know. So that's when I decided to redo the whole baby hair thing. So you will see a little bit of a transformation, but for the wig, it's a nice wig. I like the way they did the color in this. Also, I like the way it's kind of blunt straight at the ends and has like a little bit of a wave pattern in it. Now, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of any type of middle part, so I'm just going to move it over later on in a few minutes, a few seconds, what have you. But I do like the length of it. It's a very average density also, and it's a workable wig, especially for it to be synthetic. You don't have to worry about it tangling so much because it's not so long, you know? I think the longer they are, the more they tangle. Well, you know, that's each everybody's opinion. So this is where I said I'm gonna make it look a little natural. I'm just gonna pull out some of my own hairs. Now, granted, my hair is not the exact same color as the root of the wig, but that's okay. We can always make it look good. And I'm just going to take some of the hairspray that was on the back or on the bristles of my toothbrush and brush that into my own hair. You know, because I said, hey, I'm going to just make my own hair into the baby hairs or somewhat press them down, make them look a little bit better. But it takes a little bit more work, you know? And I just sprayed a little bit of hairspray in my hair off camera. And this stuff here is the Boldify. This is basically a hair filler fiber. So if you have thin hair, thin edges, balding spots, gapping spaces in your hair, you can spray this stuff on it. It just looks like little tiny hair fibers. I thought I would put that in. I've always used that product, but it's good to make the wig blend in a little bit better because the wig is a little bit thicker in the front. And girl, I am done. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look for Shatea. I think that's how you pronounce her. She was somewhat easy, but I'm not really like a huge middle part type of person. So I decided to put her to the left. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, what did I use in my hair to darken it? This is the Boldify and it's their filler fiber. I've used this several times in so many of my videos and I haven't used it in a minute, but the color that I have in it is dark brown and it will make your hair appear as if there is more hair it's more fuller so if you have like spots in your hair or gaps you know your hairline is a little thin you can use it for that you can also use it for balding spots but it also gives you the appearance of a more fuller head but that's what i used in the front because my hair does have little gaps and spaces in it and because the wig is thicker i wanted it to blend in as much as possible without having to do any baby hairs. The color is really nice. I like the style of it. It's not too long. It's really affordable. You know, you don't have to wear it in the middle. It does fit properly. Like you do have some room inside, but keep in mind, I do have my hooks on the closest that they can go because I just want it to fit properly. When you do put it to the side, it doesn't take away from the wig. So it's not uneven. It's still the same length, which is good because I do notice that some wigs do kind of like get uneven and it might be like a bob type of wig but for this one it still has an even appearance and I do like where the color is at in the unit. You can pick her up at samsbeauty.com. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you follow them on their social media. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up and share with everybody and I will see you guys on the next one.
Get him, spin him, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on him. Big bands can't bend him. Ops, we hit him. Fuck him off, he venom.